Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Um, speaking of uh, metaverse, social media, all that stuff, and this a, fucking internet, yes, you Go had a it. yeah metaverse social media. You had a you had a recent interview, yes. Tell us about that. Oh, real quick before we move on, yes. So uh, recently, I did an interview on. The Juan Epstein is Life podcast with my man Cypher Sounds and Peter Rosenberg. Um, uh oh. I mean, I think it went pretty well. Um, I guess I found out a couple of things about Rosenberg that I didn't know, you know, like he, I, he's a DJ, you know, he DJs. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay. I didn't necessarily know that. Um, I'm thinking of my bad. I'm thinking of cypher sounds. We know he's a DJ. Oh yeah. Of course we know that. Um, but that's about it. Um, I mean, it was good enough to where they said they'd bring me back and they want to have a, a, uh, episode strictly about music but i happen to see some some uh posts that rosenberg had put up after the interview and he was like yeah you had a great conversation with lord jamar i appreciate his candor you know um although i didn't agree with a lot of things he said um uh, uh, yeah and i'm like didn't agree with like what didn't you agree with um i basically was talking about white privilege and how he was you know the recipient of it um whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hold on hold on hold on whoa, whoa 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 so you said this to his face on the show of course okay of course uh, i showed I, him how i, I, I want the details even, of the meat Facial I said, even down to the name, like like down to your name, Peter Rosenberg. Could I go into a white genre, um, with a black name, and like like into a Jewish genre and be Jamar Law and think that I'm going to be successful? I said, why didn't you adopt a hip hop name? And they was like, you know, Cyphus was like, ooh, you know, I never thought about that, like. And he was like, yo, when I was in such and such, you know, my name was PMD or some, something like that. Um, okay. I was like, okay, there you go. And it was, what's his name? The other one, Ebro. It was Ebro that told him to go with the Peter Rosenberg. You know what I mean? And I'm like, ah, okay. you see, because he knew that would be some controversial shit, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Like, so at the end of the day, I'm not because he's like, you know, they're thinking, why do I hate him and all of this? Stuff. I said, I don't hate you, bro. I don't even know you like that. But it's what you stand for that I fucking hate. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's how they use you in the system that I fucking hate. Um, so there was just a few things that and then. And so after that, when he said that, I just kind of thought about the conversation. Well, hold on, Lord Jamar. Him. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Lord Jamar, you got to give the people the meat. What was his I mean, response? they need to go listen to the shit, huh? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But still, like, this is a cliffhanger, Lord Jamar. Okay, so he, he, he admitted that, he admitted that, yes, he probably did and does benefit from white privilege. Um, But then he threw this out there, and this is kind of what I want to talk about, too, and come back. He said, but... 
uh, I also outworked everybody that I was around. Like, you know what I mean? Like he tried to act like he outworked everybody as of, as if he earned his spot. Maybe um, he did. Lord Jamar, maybe he did. Hang on. See, that's, that's, that's that fucking white myth that they try to put out there for white people when there ain't no fucking way you outworked black people. Like you're talking about this. I picked myself up from my bootstraps, but black people start with no boots. You understand? We can't pull ourselves up from our own bootstraps when we don't even have boots. So the fact that you might have pulled yourself up from your bootstraps still doesn't mean that you outworked black people when we're coming from such a deficit as far as economics, uh, position, all of that, priority in the system, all of that shit. I showed them how Hot 97 catered more to Hispanic DJs and they only had really two black DJs that they would be like, yo, we're going to really stand behind y'all, which is Flex and Mr. C. Like they wasn't going to have a bunch of black people at one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they had a whole bunch of, and no, no, not hating on the Spanish DJs. I'm just showing you how the system works, how the system's looking at. And, and that was almost a shock to Cypher when I said that about the Spanish DJs. But it's true. You know what I mean? So my thing is, some of the things that I thought about after, like, because I didn't necessarily, it didn't necessarily come to me during the conversation, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, Right. So what I really remember about Rosenberg is when they put him on the overnight at Hot 97, like he had an overnight fucking um, underground type radio show. Yo, it seemed like there's been plenty of people that have shows like that for years and never went, got into that morning show spot. He was doing that show, you know, to my knowledge, like three or four months, maybe like okay. before they put him into a morning show position. Okay. Again, cutting the line. Not, And I don't think it was anything because his, show was so popular like you know what i mean like you had some people tuning in for k slade and all that type of shit how come k slade didn't get a chance to be in the morning rest in power dj k slade rest in power dj k slade because he really had the streets he really had the streets buzzing and all of that type of shit how mm. come he didn't get a chance for a morning show like this guy's overnight show was not something that everybody was like yo Yo, it's 11 o'clock on, on whatever night. Yo, Rosenberg, yo, turn that shit on. Like, he wasn't like <laughs> underground since I'm serious. Right, although, right, right, right. Although right. if you listen to it, he was playing the type of music that some like good underground shit. And mm -hmm. yeah, you might keep the channel on, but it's not like he was a sensation that would all right. of a sudden like, you know what? Let's put him in the morning. Like he's doing so great at night. We should put him in the morning show. It's almost like they knew they was going to do that. And they just put him there for a little while. Just let him get his beak wet. And then, boom, we're going to put you in the fucking, you know what I mean? First chance we get, we're going to put you in the morning slot. So you could really fucking, we can really groom you to be whatever the fuck it is we want you to be in mm. this game. And again, it's it's the example that I gave with like, not to, not to fucking harp on Eminem, but just as an example, like, how many rappers do you know get a feature film after their first album? Mm. Like, critically acclaimed... Shit, we had a critically acclaimed album. Ain't nobody asked us to do no movie right after. <laughs> you understand? Nas had a critically acclaimed album. Ain't nobody asked him to do one right after. Now, 50 Cent end up doing something like that, but that's because he's in the fucking same camp as Eminem, and he's probably like, nigga, you did one. I want to do one, too. You know what I mean? Right. I want to do what the fuck you was doing. But there's a lot of... There's just a lot of opportunities that seem like... Even a Jack Harlow right now, he's being pushed with all these opportunities that it seems like he's definitely cutting the line and not saying that he's, I mean, he can rap good. I like his, some of his songs and all of that type of shit, 
But again, they're going to let these motherfuckers cut the line because they're white. And let's not act like that's not the case. And and this whole myth about white people outworking people and all this type of shit is some bullshit. And I'm not going to fucking actually take that as an answer. Okay. So um, I'd love to discuss this with you again, Mr. Rosenberg. But this whole I outworked people shit is some bullshit. You did not outwork anybody. This, you know, the same way white people didn't outwork motherfuckers in order to get the homes and shit they got and all that. They they used white privilege. They went to the fucking war, came home, got all the benefits from the GI Bill. We weren't allowed to get that as as original people, as black people. Okay? So um tell the people again once again, like, where they can, yeah where check they can this check them. out check it out for yourself um itunes all you know whatever you watch listen to your podcast at it's definitely an audio only type of joint so you can spotify whatever the case may be juan ep is life um i think it's the title of the show is called all the makings of a shit show <laughs> <laughs> Featuring yours truly, Lord Jamal. <laughs> um, so, yeah. 